Hi everyone, welcome back. The other day I did a live stream and I indicated I'd be doing this test and uh, it's been a few days since but I've now got a chance to have a go at it. When I first got the Kona Electric one of the things that I noticed about it was the sense of inertia when you were using regen. So this isn't regen while you're braking, this is regen modes in use while you're driving forward. So for example if you're driving on a flat straight road at 50 miles an hour and you're in coasting mode there's only a sense of freewheeling or acceleration. If you're in regen two or three, you can feel a sense of inertia, a deceleration, at the same time as feeling the sense of acceleration. So you can feel yourself going forward, but you can feel there's something dragging you back as well. And for me, that was an unusual feeling because I always keep thinking, how can that be? How can regen be working and doing something while I'm accelerating so basically it's like a self-charging electric car isn't it it's you're using the battery power to propel yourself forward but somehow at exactly the same time as propelling yourself forward it's regening as well and that sort of doesn't make sense because we expect regen to occur when we're braking when we're not on the throttle so what is it and how does it work I have no idea um, I'm not an engineer I wish I knew how these motors worked with regen so that I could understand what it's actually doing um, because it, it does appear to have some sort of regen going on whilst you're accelerating now talking about it is one thing um, describe showing it visually is another and that's what I'm going to attempt to do today show you it visually uh, descriptive wise I think it's like walking forwards and having someone walking in front of you walking backwards and they're walking slower than you and they're pushing uh, on your chest so you can feel the resistance of them pushing you versus um, your attempt to accelerate so anyway, what I've what I've found is uh, just after this roundabout, if I reset the efficiency. Okay, so let's quick it, flick it into regen zero. We're in a 30 mile an hour limit, so let's accelerate to 30 miles an hour or thereabouts. Um, what I can describe is on the dash screen that hopefully you can see. Let's just make sure it is in the right direction. Yes, it is. Um, there's two semicircles, two horseshoe shapes. There's one in a teal colour, an aqua colour. That's the amount of throttle that it's recommending that you're able to use and still be economical uh, in this eco mode. If I accelerate, which I'll do now, you can see white. So the white ring is showing a description of the amount I'm accelerating. But as you can see, I've gone to 30 miles an hour and my foot is now off the throttle. I'm in coasting mode. It's very hard to have a constant throttle because you have to be so, so gentle. It's basically on and off, on and off in regen mode. And what we can see here, I'm now looking across at the screen, we've actually got minus three, minus five as I go down the hill, minus six. So according to the data from the screen, we're regening even in coasting mode when my foot's off the throttle. Now, yes, my foot's off the throttle, so we're seeing some regen, but what I'm seeing um, is this next section. So let me just turn around and I'll show you. But if I go down that same stretch of road with regen level three, the behavior of the car and the regen that you have is completely different. One of the things that sort of doesn't make sense is when you do all the tests um, to try and work out what's the most efficient, coasting mode, regen one, regen two, regen three, or is one more efficient than another in different circumstances. I've done some of those tests, I've had seven months experience now of driving the Kona, and to be honest, there's not a lot of difference between any of them. I think it's more to do with your driving style and how it suits with each regen. It seems to be as economical in each mode. So how can that be if in one mode it's not using any power at all, and in the other mode you're consuming power but gaining it back at the same time? It sort of doesn't make sense unless that regen process is so efficient that whatever you're outputting you can gain straight back into the battery. And yeah, I'm not so sure. It would make more sense to say that regen zero coasting must be more efficient because zero energy use must be better than inputting some energy use. There must be some loss somewhere. Well, <laughs> it, it, it's not really noticeable anywhere, so it's more about your driver comfort than anything else. There we go. I reset the efficiency again so we get a good comparison. Regen level three. 
So the difference now is, yes, I'm accelerating to the 30 miles an hour again, and that's, that's getting close. So now I'm trying to balance it at the 30 miles an hour. And what you can see is there's a lot of white. My foot is on the throttle, but here we've got it straight away. Plus zero, zero, 002, we are regening at minus two. Even with regen on not coasting, we're seeing some regen, and yet my foot is on the throttle. Now in coasting mode, we're seeing a little regen, but my foot was not on the throttle. Now we're getting the same sort of regen constantly, and yet my foot is on the throttle. I can feel it depressing. I know I'm depressing. I can see the gauge, that there's some white on the gauge. I know it's occurring, and yet we're getting the same sort of regen. What do we see? Minus five, minus six. Let's see what we get on this little lower section. Minus seven. Okay, that was my foot off the throttle a bit more. Um, so that was actually a larger section of regen. But there you go. Visually, there's the difference. In regen level three, I am depressing the throttle, going downhill, and yet I'm maintaining a constant speed. And it is regening at the same time. Just a really short video today to show visually that difference between going downhill in coasting mode and how you're not using the throttle and gaining a little regen off the throttle. But also when you're going down the same hill in regen level two or three, you get the regen, but you are accelerating all of the time. You're having to depress the accelerator a lot more than you do in coasting mode, even going downhill and yet getting the same regen. So the Kona Electric and maybe other electric cars, you know, I'm not 100% sure of the uh, engineering, but the Hyundai cars definitely regen whilst accelerating too. And that's that resistance that you can feel in the driving. It is occurring. So something mechanical is happening there. And uh, I find that difference between the two fascinating, that you can be regening whilst accelerating. And how does that work? How does it work that you're using energy from the battery to propel yourself forward down a hill, pushing through a resistance that's there, but that resistance in theory, is giving you regen that puts exactly the same energy back into the battery, or maybe more, um, depending on what those numbers look like on the dash, etc. Um, I have no idea um, which is more economical or why, but it's all interlinked. And I wonder, I wonder if that resistance that you can feel that I was demonstrating downhill in level three, I wonder if that is one of the keys to the efficiency of the Hyundai cars. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing, as always. Um, there might be a little lull in uh, some video production. Uh, there are some issues uh, that I'm not gonna discuss um, online, but uh, it's taking more of my time up and it's giving me other priorities at the moment. Thanks for watching again. Take care for now. Bye-bye.